Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Dallas GPTV. I'm Brett. It's New Month, and in my hands is the latest comic of the month club release. You can go check it out at cotmclub.com. Uh, it's one of the numerous geeky services out there. It delivers a box of comics to your doorstep. It's kind of a, it's kind of like a pool box, a uh, long box, you know, pool service where you can go put in, uh, you know, what type of comics you're interested in, and they'll do their best getting that for you. Or like me, you can make it really difficult for them and just put in no preferences and see what they pick, which is kind of what I've been doing because I think that's entertaining and fun and you never know what you're going to get out of it. So let's open up this month's box and find out what's inside. Got a nice little black bag in here. I do like the fact that they, they bag and bore their stuff. Um, they put in bags like this so it gets nice and protected. You know, it's been raining a lot, so to get uh, to get protection is not necessarily a bad thing. All right, so this is something definitely new for me. I can't say I've read this. Uncle Sam and the Freedom Fighters, number one, Jimmy Palmiotti and uh, Justin Gray and Renato Arlam. It is November 2007. Definitely was not reading this, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. I'm really enjoying the Freedom Fighters mini series that's going on. Uh, currently, there's a 12-issue maxi-series that's Friggin' awesome. So to be able to go and check this out, maybe compare the two a little bit. Very cool. Liking it. Another one, definitely did not read. This is Doom Patrol number one. John Byrne, Dun Doug Hazelwood from August 2004. Um, Doom Patrol has not been a, a team or comics that I've read really ever. So to get anything makes me happy. Uh, you know, I know some people will be like, that's not the classic. I don't care. I've never read a Doom Patrol comic in my life. So to be able to check out and get something, totally, totally up for that one. Uh, this one, so we got Lobo, uh, uh, I'm guessing Colin Bunn, and this would be August 2015. I definitely have this in either digital or physical. This is the uh, the model Lobo, which I was not a fan of. Give me the old main man himself. Uh, yeah. All right. This... This is pretty awesome. Um, this brings back memories. We got Deathmate, big, huge, valiant image crossover event. Uh, there was uh, what Deathmate: yellow, black, red, blue. Is there a silver one? Just I remember this was a huge deal back then. Um, God, when was this? It'd be nineties. It'd be ninety something. I mean, this was a big deal. It was four ninety five, which was a huge amount around that time. I don't remember what the hell the story actually was about. It was just this crossover between Image and Valiant. So this is September 1993. Yeah, there was a lot of people involved in this. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. It's, uh, yeah, it should, it should be really interesting and fascinating to go back and, and read through all this because... I mean, Valiant's coming back. It was a really interesting time for Image. This is this brings back memories. I absolutely have a copy of this somewhere in my collection. Uh, no doubt I have every single one, if not multiple copies. Usagi, Yojimbo uh, from Dark Horse, of course, uh, Stan Sakai. Recently now it's going to be moving over to IDW Publishing from Dark Horse. A huge run, one of the uh, longest-running independent comics, I think, uh, ever... Really impressive. Uh, I know people love his comic. Not one that I was ever into, so to be able to go and dive into even one issue and check it out and see what I've been missing, nice nice props to that. Looking forward to it. Uh, this is uh, obviously a, a really popular series, and, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll get hooked off of this one. Now, this one I definitely read. So this is The Visitor, How and Why He Stayed from Pages of Hellboy, number one. Um, Mike Mignola, Chris Roberson, Paul Grist, and Bill Crabtree. This was a really cool miniseries. You know, I loved, uh, love kind of what Hellboy's been doing lately. There's been a lot of offshoot miniseries kind of expanding the world. Uh, this is one of them kind of uh, expanding off a really kind of obscure thing that happened in the, in the comic. Uh, and it's just kind of like this about this alien observing humanity. Really enjoyed it. Loved the miniseries as a whole. Top notch off of that. Uh, I have it digitally. Don't believe I've got it physically. So cool with that. All right, man. Thing number one, R. L. Stein. I enjoyed it. Like, I, you know, R. L. Stein coming to work for Marvel is a pretty big deal. This is a fairly recent comic. Um, 
and the, the series was good. It didn't really blow me away. I've never, you know, I, I was too old for, I think, R.L. Stein. I was never into Goosebumps or any of that stuff. So, um, you know, the name doesn't quite, uh, doesn't quite stick out to me. And I'm like, oh my God. But, uh, not, you know, it wasn't a bad series. It was, it was probably good. It's better, I think, read as a whole than individual issues. All right, Dark Rain. Scrawl, Kill Crew. It was kind of funny I just brought this up. It was issue three, so obviously diving in the middle of the story. I definitely have this as a single issue because I was a sucker and buying everything back then. Um, yeah, Dark Rain was a really interesting story as a whole. It's the story is um, a bunch of guys who eat tainted meat, get powers of Scrawls, and go around killing Scrawls in revenge. Best way of describing it. And it was good. Like, it was it was kind of entertaining in that just turn off your brain and go with it. And I don't remember how it ended up, but we haven't heard from the Skull, Skrull Kill Crew since. Which is kind of disappointing. You think they would be back by now. But since Dark Rain was, like, all about Secret Invasion and, and post that with uh, Norman Osborn in charge. So, uh, very fitting. I, fixed, I expected them to be back with the whole Captain Marvel film. Uh, Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. Frank Barbieri. I remember liking this more than I think a lot of others did. It was really goofy concept. Uh, there's basically a crack uh, squad of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents that were monsters. And it was it was entertaining, kind of just turn your brain off, enjoyment. Best way to describe it. It's the number one issue. You can't complain. Probably have a copy of it somewhere. Whatever. And now here's another one that definitely brings back some memories. So we got Darkhold, number one, Rise of the Midnight Suns, part four of six. As I was remember for some reason these comics scaring the crap out of me as a kid. I was not a horror fan as a kid, and I read all this stuff like Blade, Darkhold, uh, what was some of the other ones that came out? I, I'm like, I'm picturing them, and I can't think of this, the story's names. I just remember them being the scaring the crap out of me as a kid. Uh, so this should be kind of entertaining to go back and read at some point just to see how it holds up. Uh, you know, obviously part four of six, you're diving into something, so it's going to be, eh. But it's the number one issue, so hopefully there's a bit more, it's a bit easier to dive into uh, than just a part four. But it definitely brings back memories. This is absolutely in my collection. I know that one's in my collection. So, like, not bad. It's a nice mix of, of stuff. Uh, some Marvel, not Marvel, some DC, some Dark Horse, Valiant and Image. Um... Kind of, kind of a fan of this. There's some good stuff here. A lot of things that I have uh, wanted to read that I've never read before. So I'm happy with this uh, with this collection and these picks. So always good stuff. If you want to join the Comic of the Month Club, you can do that yourself. Cotmclub.com. Go right there. Tell them Graphic Policy sent you. I don't think it gets anything, but it just sounds cool if you do that. So as always now, if you're into comics, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.